what is erectile dysfunction? In the course of my work, I often refer to erectile dysfunction as erectile difficulties instead. It's one and the same thing, but the other just sounds a whole lot better. Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality, and I'm from Arrows Coaching. Erectile difficulties just means that someone wants to get an erection, but is unable to do so. That's the simple definition of it. And there might be a few reasons why one is not able to get an erection. The physical causes is definitely one of them. If someone has health conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, hypertension, this affects blood flow to the penis. So it is entirely possible to learn how to be more connected to your body, to take care of your health, and reduce some of these effects of these health conditions. Other things that can cause difficulties with the erection can be as simple as not getting enough sleep. Having masturbated to ejaculation prior to trying to get another erection, for instance, with a partner, can lead to difficulties with getting another erection because your body just doesn't feel like having sex. That can also be another possibility. Other causes can include anxiety, sexual performance anxiety, can cause difficulties with getting an erection. I have had clients who report that they are not able to get an erection because they are um, worried about their sexual performance. They have the erection, but upon penetration, start losing their erection because they are not in their bodies and they start going into worry. So that psychological effect can cause difficulties with erection. There are also clients who, because of the way they masturbate, are not able to be truly comfortable with their bodies and therefore are not able to sustain their erection. They might get an erection, they might be excited, they are not necessarily nervous, but upon penetration, they start losing their erection. Just like we get tired, mentally, physically, emotionally. When uh, we're holding space for someone for a long time, we do feel emotionally tired. And uh, similarly, when we are habitual masturbators of quietly, quickly, secretly, quickly being the keyword here, our body is not used to lasting long. And therefore, it's not that the body has something wrong, health condition, it's not that you're particularly anxious, but the body is not trained to last long. So take for instance, you have been running the 100 meters sprint your whole life and suddenly just because you're with someone now, you want to go for the marathon, and you really, really, really want to last long. However, your body gets tired physically, mentally, emotionally, you get tired. And so the body wants to, but the body is not able to. And this is when my clients get really anxious to go and see a doctor. They try taking Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, and it doesn't work. And sometimes maybe they work, but they get inconsistent results. It results in them getting even more anxious. And the solution is really learning how to be more connected with your body. And sexual confidence comes with practice and being able to be comfortable with your sexuality and Expressing your sexuality in different ways helps you to be able to last longer. And it's very important to rule out first physical causes. It's very important to explore psychological effects, but that there's also the body-mind connection that needs to happen, which is this ease that I just mentioned, um, the ability to practice lasting longer also helps. So when you're masturbating, practice changing the way you masturbate so that you become more comfortable with your body and expressing your sexuality in different ways. And sometimes just sharing this little information already helps men to start understanding that self-pleasure can be a fantastic way of practice and not just self-pleasure out of routine. And you're not necessarily developing new skills. You're not necessarily learning about your body. And certainly, the frequent use of porn is not supporting you in being mindful in the way that you are having pleasure in your body. And so this is Dr. Martha Tara Lee of Arrows Coaching. If you are interested to learn how to have better sexual confidence, you can go to my link, 
That's arrowscoaching.com backslash ready get sex go. That's R G S G. So I have this online training program that helps men to overcome premature ejaculation, but it's the same program that will help men to be able to be more confident in their bodies, including more confidence with their erection. The erection and ejaculation are two completely different things, but they are very much linked. And this program that I have on Ready Get Sex Go is the same program that I use to support my clients who have anxiety around their erection. So I want you to know that you can go and check out this link. And I look forward to receiving any questions that you have. And you can email me at ask at arrowscoaching.com. So take care.